So we're going to start building our application. So we're going to go inside this function set quote where you can see the commands quote and we're going to update the values for those labels with the data returned by the API. So we are calling this function get quote data on an instance of data service. So remember that this is where we do the API calls and we're going to return a value for the quote and an author. And we're going to start with quotes. We're going to write self quote label and update the value of the text property with quote. So let's start with that. We're going to save build and run. And also in order to be able to see if it's effective, we're going to need to update also the IB action for this button random quote. We're going to link the IB actions to the random quote by clicking on the empty circle, press control and drag. And we can also update the value of the alpha property of this quote label in order to actually be able to see the quote every time we press on the button. So we're going to run this and you're going to be able to see that every time you press on the bottom random quote, we're going to have a new quote generated and displayed on the app. And we're going to do the same for the author. So we have these other commands where we're going to write an optional binding. So an optional binding is a condition and an assignment at the same time. So if the condition is true, the assignment is going to be effective. So we're going to write the constant a author, which is going to be a new constant to which we're going to assign the variable author, which is the data returned by the API under the condition that the data is valid from the JSON, from the API call. And then we're going to assign this new constant to the text property of the author label. So we're going to try that. We're going to build and run. And we're going to also change the value of the alpha property of this label in order to actually be able to see every time we click on the button. So let's click on random quotes. We're going to be able to read a different quote and a different author every time we press. Cool. The next thing we want to do is just to add some extra information for is just for the appearance. We're going to add some quotes to the quote label. First, we're going to need to actually write a string. And in order to add a variable, to be able to add a variable to a string, we need to use interpolation. And this is done by using backslash and parentheses. So this is what we call interpolation in Swift. Also, we're going to add some actual quotes. And in order to be able to display them, we're going to need to escape them by using the backslash. So the backslash is in order to escape. So Swift understand that this is an actual string. And we're going to do the same for the author. We're going to add quotes but that's just to indicate that this is a string and we're going to interpolate. We're going to use interpolation in order to be able to return the data. So the value of this actual variable on the screen, we're going to build and run and you're going to be able to see that now we have a quote with quotes. Next, what we would like to do is allowed to get a default value every time we get an empty string, which can happen. Sometimes when you work with JSON data from the internet, you may have either invalid JSON or sometimes no value. In that case, we could have empty string for the author. So we're going to do a comparison by using the double, double equal signs and check if it's empty. And in that case, if it's empty, we want to return a known. So that's going to be this string. So we're going to save that and we're going to make a test. We're going to see if we can actually randomly generate a quote with an author, which is actually a known with an empty string. And there you're going to be able to read a known. And here you go. What we see is mainly what we look for is by a known author.